Hey folks, welcome back to After Work Gaming. We are back in Pamela for some more early action play. Uh, as expected, there was a patch for uh, the game between the last episode and this one, so basically one, game, uh, one day right after the game released. It's version 0.1.0.18 now, and it fixed a, a, a bunch of stuff, including some of the reasons for the crashes, uh, it streamlined some of the graphics, and... Uh, not this one. Nope, getting greedy, hold on. Nope, one second. Nope. Oh, I'm done. Yeah, I'm gonna get locked out now. Yeah, I got locked out. Okay, fine. Fine? Uh, so, it, w it maybe that one is different because that one is already activated. It's It simplifies the uh, hacking minigame, so the, the locks shouldn't be like torment, torment level. I'm dehydrated, great. Tasty paste does not help with my dehydration, guys. Yeah, I'm good for food. I'm just, I need something to drink badly. Whoa, 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 whoa. Completely forgot you guys were here. Notice that the robots aren't here, and I think the reason for that is we were running around hacking everything and failing a lot of the hack uh, attempts, and I think that summons the robots, and they're called Seekers, if I uh, remember correctly. And I'll tell you why right after I run this uh, Pamela Echo, I guess. Whenever the sun rises, and the cyanotrope begins to glow faint blue, I am reminded that only a day, not a decade, has passed. Okay, cool. So, uh, two quick things. I mean, this is, like I said, still early access. I'm just one day in early access, really. Uh, so, the load times are still a little long sometimes, and during that load time, they give you snippets of lore, which I'd love to show you guys so we can read it together, but... Uh, then you'd have to sit through, like, a couple of minutes of this thing loading. See? Medium. Oops. It would help if I wasn't incompetent. There we go. At unlocking these locks. Okay, here we go. What is this? Tonal silencer, a symbolic mechanized charm that makes the user lighter on their feet, used by those who do not wish to be noticed by others. And a ceaseless shield developed by Garrison by, uh... For Garrison by Mitra, this shield protects the user from harm using a built-in recharger battery. It has a chance to refill on depletion. Well, we're taking that. Thank you. Let's see if we can... Um, gadget. Nice. So we're going to be quieter as we run around. And this is a different shield. This is the one that makes us potentially a little invisible. But no, I would rather have this one. Because it seems like more shield. More bang for my buck. And unfortunately, I can't open that box anymore. Hmm. Even though it's completely empty. Uh, yeah, so they give you some snippets of uh, lore. So I learned that the robots, uh, or the robot that was scanning us uh, before. What is this? Um, this water? Please tell me it's water. No, it's, it's stuff we can't even consume. It's for plants. Great. Uh, they're called Seekers. Uh, and they're kind of like the security force around here. And Pamela is, in fact, an AI. She's sort of the culmination of a lot of work. Ooh, there we go. Come on, I got. I mean, I gotta have water or something. Hard. Nope. Nope. Greedy. Definitely greedy now. And I got locked out. Sorry about that. Let's see, let's see. Is there anything else around here? Is there... Nope. Okay, uh, the other thing you might notice is it's a little bit brighter around here. Uh, and the reason for that is that uh, I try to play with volumetric lighting, which is what I was doing before, and I think the new patch kind of messes with uh, the rendering a little bit. Nope, nope, no, nope. Come on. There we go. Uh, messes with the rendering so that I can't play with volumetric uh, lighting with you guys. Um, what is this? Compute cell. It's an upgrade type, okay. And an energy cell. All right, let's take both. Spend compute cells in Pamela menu. Oh, hello. Pamela menu. Press uh, or hold Q to use Pamela abilities. Cool. Sense of guidance, level 2, level 6, level 10. I see. What is this? Pamela accumulates kinetic energy in the player's fist, then ejects it at supersonic speeds. Or manifest as a sprite, Pamela follows and illuminates the path of the player, energy pulled from main battery. Uh, let's do this one, because it's crowd control, right? Let's do that just in case. Okay. 
cool. Okay, so it's level one now. Can we... There we go. All right, so we have a Pamela ability. That's super cool. Uh, yeah, I know. Oh, I'm starving too? No, I'm not starving. Maybe I, maybe it happens when I'm dehydrated, I get starving as well. Uh, let's eat this, right? Tasty paste, good. Good, I'm no longer starving. Good. Okay, fine. Um, let's see, this grate. Can we open this grate? We can, but let's not do that yet. I want to explore this area first. Security chest piece. This. Can I put this on, please? None. The chest piece offers solid defense while still being made of flexible materials to allow great mobility uh, and is used by garrison peacekeepers. Equip. And there it is. Cool. Uh, let's also drop this. I don't need it clogging up my... Oh my god, look at that shield. That's pretty serious. Okay. Let's see. Is this what I think it is? It is a Nutri Cube. I will take that, thank you. I see a box. Okay. Empty. Oh, hello. You're not... Yeah, that's right. That's right. You're not dead. You're a thing. We, can have, we do have to fight you because you're like some zombie or something, right? Well, that's right. Come on. Oh, <laughs> nice. Pamela abilities are cool. That's right. Get down. Oh, yeah. Okay, so real quick before we, like, loot him. Is there another one around here? No. Good. Let's check out our status here. Do we have anything? Anything, anything, anything? Max shield, 90 points. Health, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we're good. Oh, you're still making noise, huh? Well, let's just assume we knocked you out. <gasps> Water! Yes! What is this? Medi-hypo and a ham sandwich. We'll take all three. Thank you, and you just shush! Okay, let's... Are we still super dehydrated? Yes, we are. Let's drink this water. Nice. Medi-hypo heals fast with a he searing heat. Great. And a ham sandwich. The word ham contained in this sandwich is vestigial as it contains no actual meat. The actual snack consists of flavored wheat gluten. Okay, I'm assuming this is like some early access uh, glitch where he still makes noise after we kill him, but that's fine. Uh, like I said, um, it is early access. And, nonetheless, still really fun to fight him. The combat is actually pretty snappy. And those that Pamela ability was awesome. Oh, what is this? Avocado. This unique fruit filled with mono-unsaturated fats and protein makes for an excellent meat replacement in small amounts. Okay, we'll take the avocado. You sold me on the avocado game. Uh, I mean, didn't need selling. I, I love guacamole and such. But, um, or just avocado on a sandwich. If you guys have never had that, it's delicious. Okay. Oh, hello. Security helmet and a... Rep Repercussive shield. This crude shield prototype utilizes a built-in battery to protect the user, and when struck, reflects a port. Yes! This is a portion, like, of the damage reflected shield. Thank you. I don't need this anymore. Thank you. Drop. Security helmet. A balanced medium weight helmet. Okay. And what is this? Security helmet plus plus drop. <laughs> I mean, it does work a little bit like normal RPGs and, like, you know, loot grinds, right? If something has a weird color outline... Probably a good bet that it's, uh, special. Okay. Ooh, I like the... F I, I don't know if this is part of the patch. Augment coupon. Take it. Uh, I don't know if this is part of the patch or not, but uh, I really like the fact that a lot more of these containers aren't locked anymore. Uh... Ah, yes. So this... I'm gonna turn off the lights just so you guys can see. Uh, well, here it is. So it's a dead end, and there's a choke point right here. So this, if we could build a base, and we can't yet... Uh, I don't think we don't have the, we don't have really any materials. Um, is upgrade cell spend attachment upgrade nodes in the inventory? Really? Can I like? How do I do that? Loadout, armoring, viz gadgets. It's that, but I don't know how to. Okay, so we'll figure that out in a second, um, or maybe later. But. This looks like a place that you would build a base in, right? Like you would you would set up here so that the choke, so that if anything comes down, you would be able to see them or maybe set up like a turret or something because I think you can build those here. And yeah, 
a hard difficulty. Nope. Nope, I'm getting greedy. Hold on. Or I'm getting impatient, rather. There we go. Just on the last cusp, what is in here? I'm seeing hypos. Flux Plus, enhanced version of the Nirvana drug, moderately increases ability, agility and clout for a time before inducing withdrawal. Uh, super hypo, medical, jack of all trades with no loss in quality. Okay. Uh, by the way, if those things don't give you like a System Shock vibe, and this entire game with its inventory and such doesn't give you a System Shock vibe, man, medium. Here we go. You know what's weird? Having... Having, like, played with, like, Hard and Torment and Inferno, it's almost off-putting, or it just throws me off that I have to use, uh, like, it's moving slower and stuff. It's weird. So, Butcher Blade, I think, is exactly what we have now. What is this? Javelin XT weapon. Used by the fishing industry as a harpoon, this HDM produces virtually no sound. It alternates fire, launches many arrows simultaneously. No, do I not have space? I don't have space. Here, take these... Take these drugs. I don't need these drugs. All right, this is this is like the most system shock thing I can think of, where I'm where I'm playing with my inventory. Uh, actually, let's let's toss a bunch of other stuff in here because I don't need it right now, and we'll just remember that we put it back here. So this fertilizer we don't need. Energy cells we might need, but who knows? Morphine. Let's keep. Super hypo. Blah 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 blah. Okay, and eh, shield pylon just in case we come across something. Who knows? Right, so let's check out this weapon. Hello. Oh, hello. Um, I think I may have just wasted a lot of my ammo. Great, but still, you're my best friend now because you can launch a. No, I can't. Rec I can't reload. That's fine. Maybe I'll be able to find more stuff. Okay, let's go back. Let's see what we can see. Um, very cool, though. I, I do have to say, I like the idea of, like, looting this place, and... Oh my god, I thought that was somebody's legs. Are you still gurgling? No. Somebody's gurgling, and I don't see the body. It suggests to me... There may be a gurgler around here. Nope. Is he in here, maybe? Nope. Let's just let's just confirm real quick that there isn't someone down this hallway. Okay, nobody's down the hallway. That's fine. That is actually good. Let's turn off the light. Is there someone we can see moving around in here? No. Okay, let's go through. Let's see what we can find. Okay, as always, yeah, we still need a little bit more drink. That's fine, though. We can we can cope now. We're not super dehydrated. Okay. As always, check the trash can first. Trash can is always locked. Medium. Nope. No. Oh my God, I'm terrible at this right now. There we go. Sorry. Sorry that I go quiet when I do this. It just seems like whenever I. It's empty! Ah, fine. Hello? Uh, there are multiple people, and one of them has, like, this... I thought I heard a gurgle. One of them has this, like, wrist-mounted thing. Okay. This is a lot of bodies, guys. This is a lot of bodies. Is there anything here? Well, there's food. How much do we really want this food? Tasty paste. Yeah, I don't know how tasty... Well, at least it's in a tube. Is there anything here? There is. There is coffee. Perfect. Um, let's drink it. Because, you know, obviously when you're in a room filled with dead bodies, you would have some coffee. It's just to calm down, I guess. Uh, or at least me. I don't know. I don't know about you guys. Coffee and caffeine generally just calm me down. Okay. Crazy. Let's go check out what's back here, and then we'll go check out that. Look, there's, like, stuff written on these walls. Oh, is that a little kiosk? 
This is like a little coffee shop or something, no? What are these things? No, this is definitely not a coffee shop, guys. <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's a coffee shop. It's a, you know, it's a hospital. It's one of those places, like an au bon pan or something. But no. Ooh, okay. Nothing, nothing in this corner. Okay, let's get in this kiosk. Or this, like, area room office thing. Eh? Uh... Oh! Shoot, we can, we, but these are like cash registers, right? Empty, somebody's already raided it. Empty, somebody's already raided it. Locked, let's do this. Nope. There we go. Uh, cool. What I really like about, I mean, what I really like about this game, and what I really like about the way this uh, whole thing is sort of presented, what is this? A tomato. Wait a minute. Quickly, eat the tomato. Use it, thank you. Uh, okay. So, what I really like about this is that, like, there's a lot of imagination built into this. Like, just imagine how long it took the developers to come up with a concept of what this entire place would look like, because I'm pretty sure they modeled a whole city. None of this is procedural. This is all bespoke. It's awesome. I know there was a trash can. I just want to look behind the, uh, the little divider here. And then we'll see what's on the walls of the divider, and... Oh. It doesn't completely block it off. That's fine. That's fine. I see another echo, and... Pipes? Ah, uh, who knows. Okay, let's turn this off. Originally, Jacob would converse with me every day, even insisting on being called my creator. I only understood the concept years later. Interesting-ish. What is this? Cyanotubes require cyanotube repair kit. Uh, we definitely don't have that, huh? Hmm. Okay, and I don't even know what that would look like. Okay, let's go check out this trash can and what's written on these divider uh, divider things. Uh, let's see. We are all infected. We are all infected. All infected. Missing. If you see this person, contact garrison authorities immediately. Help your fellow citizen. Found in the lobby. X, X, dead. Found in the lobby, dead. Can I read, like, their names? Yeah, I can, kind of. Very cool and very... I mean, again, like, the amount of detail and forethought that went into this is super awesome and very impressive. Uh, da -da 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 -da, more missing people. Okay, let's go check out this trash can. So, it may be that, I mean, if, if the thing is... If that sign is to be believed, the we are all infected sign then maybe the thing is they were trying to contain the epidemic and then eventually it just got out of hand. We can upgrade more. Okay, cool. Neutral bar. Yeah, pick that up. Nice. Let's just see. What else can we do with Pamela here? Because uh, we have one more compute cell. Right. Guidance? Do we want to see what that's, it, what that's like? Let's at least check it out, right? I mean, it's early access. There's no reason not to. Okay, cool. So... Our flashlight is off. And guidance. Cool. You know, like uh, this is like Zelda or something. Neat. Are you gonna follow me? You are gonna follow me. That's so cool. <laughs> nice. Now I don't need to worry about my flashlight and stuff. Now I can just kinda like do all this stuff and like scan it all up, and it's actually very bright. It's nice. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, 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 there's stuff for us to read. All right, back off. Um, download datapad entry, enhanced temporal formula. Okay. See, this is what I'm talking about. Now you can see the whole datapad. Uh, that's probably in what? Documents? Chant logs, diaries, echoes. We saw echoes. Research. This is it. Enhanced temporal formula. Official research document confidential. Temporal formula version 2.13. Following the recent analysis of emotional trends and stress factors, it has been decided to further improve the current temporal formula. In order to achieve this, both ARC Medical and Biostera are currently collaborating. Seeing as the formula was originally invented in the early 2200s, this will mark over three decades since the original invention and introduction. That's nice. This is this is what I really like. It's it's uh, show don't say, so this we're now in like 22... 30s, maybe? 
uh, or a little bit later because it's early 2200s. Uh, great strides have been made since the original iteration, increasing the effectiveness from 32 to 74 percent. However, given the recent riot in the promenade last month, we are investigating adding a mild sedative to the formula to temper advanced stages of frustration. There are concerns about the potential for withdrawal following cessation of taking the temporal formula. Vice Chair Alexa assures us it is a non-issue. Residents are heavily encouraged to keep doses consistent. If a resident did skip a dose, the flooding in of emotions may prove to be debilitating. A person in such state would immediately be recognized by seekers, see this is the, the robots, the security force, and removed for rehabilitation. This outcome would further enforce the dependence on temporal, but it is critical for a peaceful society. So this is like I I mean somebody must have read the Giver right like this is this is the thing is they in the Giver spoilers uh, they take pills in order to suppress emotion and certain other things um, or at least the kids do and I guess that's what they're talking about temporal I guess is like to temper you and part of it is to distract you from having emotions and such is there anything nope all of it's empty everybody's been raided already. Anything here? No, you'd think that would have come up because I think this thing has a pretty decent radius. And yeah, Pamela's got fine. Nope, that's empty too. Uh, okay, let's just when Ooh, can we can we open this in some way? We can. Um, do we want to though? Yeah, let's open it up. Let's open it up. We'll step out into the uh... anything in this pile. Nope. Very cool. Look at this. Q. Q? No. Okay, we're all gone. We have nothing in our hands. Very cool. Like I said, bespoke, like, design architecture. Somebody had to think about futuristic architecture. Very awesome. Very cool. Very impressive. Now, I think we'll call it there. I'm going to put up, to the extent that I can, two episodes tonight, because I, I, there's no way I'm stopping this, but I want to make this sort of bite-sized for you guys. And, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend. Let's me know that I'm doing something right. Let's me know that you guys want to see more of this stuff. If you have thoughts about the game, if you think I'm overlooking something, if, you know, while you guys are playing, you discover something in terms of the mechanics, by all means, let me know. Uh, since it's early access and this is kind of a little bit more open-ended than some of the games we play, I think you can probably feel free to share ideas and discoveries. There's no reason to worry about spoilers that much. Uh, but if you think there's something to, that's going to be a spoiler, by all means, flag it. But in any case, uh, everything's welcome, and I will see you all next time.